There is an art to designing a good dashboard, and there are a lot of important qualities that are easy to miss or not consider when building your dashboard. Today, we'll talk about two dashboards that I like and one dashboard that I don't like. We'll understand what makes them valuable and what could be improved. Let's get started. We'll start with a dashboard that I like. It is a portfolio level dashboard, meaning that it is rolling up many projects into one view that is able to catch both the breadth of the projects and the depth. I like this dashboard because in the top area, you can see the whole portfolio information. You're able to see what's planned for the budgets. You're able to see the allocation as well as the requests per region. This type of information is good because what you're trying to do is compare between the various regions and teams at this top level. You also can see what's coming into the intake, what is being reviewed, what's ready and so forth. Down here, you're able to get information about the projects, but also see key detail per project. This is nice because it doesn't take up a lot of real estate, yet you're able to glean a lot of detail quickly with small amount of real estate. I want to mention too that it really depends on your stakeholders. Some stakeholders would see this still as too busy. Yeah, others would absolutely want to see more value crammed into small real estate. Now let's cover one other good example first. So again, we have a portfolio dashboard. At the top, we're seeing information about the portfolio. We're seeing health, we're seeing the department, and this is a KPI that you could make up. So it's really a placeholder on, on showing comparisons between the various teams. Now we don't have labels on this and that would be an area I would improve, but the idea is that you can quickly see comparisons. And remember that a chart is not just to be a dazzling color for you. It's supposed to be a way that you're able to see the comparison. When I see this, I know, wow, most of our projects are in bad health. Not only do I know the number, but I'd also see that relatively speaking, our projects aren't doing well. I'm also able to say, hey, I'm allocating a lot to this department more than others. And even though I could see that in the numbers, it's easy for my mind to immediately see the comparison. And that's the goal. When you're building a smart sheet, you're trying to tell a story. You're trying to make sure that people see the most important comparisons. And remember that a portfolio dashboard is all about negotiation. It's all about stakeholders trying to say, hey, I need this much effort towards my team. I need this much effort in this location, in this department and so forth. And seeing this type of information can inform you well enough of, are you matching with that well? Or can you give resources elsewhere? As I go down, this is another really helpful view because this is looking at department and starting to get budget information at that level. It crams a lot of detail at a department level where sometimes you could build even department dashboards to see even more depth here. And then just like before, you can see down here in the project details. I like these dashboards because they start with comparisons at the top, high level important KPI. And then as you go down, you start to drill into more detail. And how we would design a good dashboard is we would make sure that there's more and more detail as you scroll down. That way the headline is always at the top, just like reading the newspaper. You see the headlines at the top and you scroll down to see more detail. Now, one dashboard that I do not like is this one right here. Now this is a sample dashboard, so it's not really fair to judge it too much, but it's a great example of how we can improve on certain dashboards. Let's talk first about real estate. I put this in the editing mode so that you could see where there's real estate wasted. You can see here there's this description and all this blank area. This is prime real estate. This is like having a block downtown in a big city that has absolutely nobody claiming it. Having a description like this is not as helpful because it's just jammed over to the side. As well as this information here, because yes, it's crucial to have the labels for these, this whole area of real estate just being wasted. Then you can see right here, we're going into a task report. Task reports are very helpful, but that's a lot of detail. And it's better to bring the detail farther down because what you're doing is you're going, hey, I see a lot of detail. Then I'm kind of zooming out again a little bit to look at a different comparison. So. I tend to want to put the charts up higher and at least by section charts and then more detail. And then maybe let's, let's say you have a financial section again, charts and then more detail. 
The charts help you see the comparisons and see the story of it more than necessarily the specific details do. So I like to always have a chart at above and then be able to dig into more details for those who really want to understand the nitty gritty of it below. Over here, I'm not going to complain too much about these statuses. I do think it's good to have some sort of color status. But the way this is showing, it definitely doesn't take advantage of the real estate very well. So you could get more information in here, but you could also orient it a little better so that there's not these big gaps because it's even hard for you to know, is this really that description or is it a description of this? You need to really make sure it's very clear what's representing what in here. And especially since it's so clear, that's fine because it's easier on the eyes as far as seeing a lot of information. It still is hard for you to really flow through this dashboard. I think it's very important for you to have a dashboard that is an easy flow for you to transition from piece to piece and understand each part and basically be told a story by the dashboard. If you have thoughts on dashboards, please feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe.